I want us to have a conversation on sales and marketing strategies. But before we get there, we all know that selling has changed. The way you used to sell 10 years ago is not the way you sell today, right? So in your own view, because I want us to have an interaction, in your own view, uh, what, why has selling changed before we even go to marketing? Why is it that the way you sell today is not the way you used to sell 10 years ago, Maria? What is it that has changed the way selling happens before we go to strategies? I think part of it is uh, the customers we are targeting today mm -hmm. are more informed. Mm -hmm. Long ago, you just bring a product, mm -hmm. people use it, mm -hmm. and that's it. Nowadays, they'll have the information mm -hmm. before you even bring that uh, product yes. and they know even if you place your product on the table mm -hmm. they know what else uh, what other products they can use instead of yours very so good. they are very informed today very good mm -hmm. so selling has changed because you're not dealing with a customer who doesn't know anything the customer is extremely informed and because of that just to add on what she said, the online presence, the internet has made it or revolutionized the way you sell. Because now, if you go to a company's website, you go to their social media, you go to their e-commerce platforms, they know. So, even for you, the customer is informed, but even for you as a company, you have a broader audience. Before, you just call someone or you know somebody somewhere and they buy your product. And then to say technology, you say evolution of technology. Mm -hmm. So things have evolved. You are getting it online, like you are saying. Yes. If you stick to tradition, well, going to a customer maybe one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. you might not even sell. Very good. Yeah. Technology, which also because of technology, it has enabled e-commerce, you know? Now, consumers can buy products online, right? Consumers can even pay online. They can, so you, you, you don't, we're not saying you decline the brick and mortar, but you need to understand that now, because of technology, just as Maria said, now the customer has more product selection. Yet, you must personalize their experience for you to sell to them. Thank you. You need to understand that customers have a lot of choice. It is not, I think the only thing we don't have choice about, to some extent, is Kenya Power. <laughs> <laughs> to some extent, right? Yeah, sure. So they'll mistreat you, but you still go back to them. <laughs> but even then, it's changing because people are going into new so, energy. So you need to understand before you even decide what sales strategy to go for, consumers have a choice of competition. And because of competition, it is important to understand now companies are going to what is called data-driven selling. Have you ever heard about data-driven selling? Huh? Data-driven selling is where you use data analytics huh? to inform you and to gain insights into what consumers prefer. Remember we said, she said, the consumer now is informed. On top of that, consumers are choice. On top of that, the consumer behaviors are changing. The best way you can sell, irrespective of the strategy that you're going to use, which I'll tell you here, is you need to use data-driven selling. You need to use analytics. You need to collect data to understand what do customers prefer? What are their purchase patterns? What are their behavior? That is the only way you can personalize your sales strategy. Very, very important. Secondly, other than what you have said, if you have to do good selling, you must use what we call relationship building. Today, selling places emphasis on building relationships with customers. Companies are adopting what we call omni-channel selling. Omni-channel selling. Have you heard about that? Huh? Omni-channel selling basically is where you are using multiple sales channels to give your customer a customer experience. Let's look at a few strategies, having understood that because it is important. And we all know that sales strategies play a vital role in the success of any business. 
I keep saying, and please, when you employ salespeople, call me. Because I tell salespeople, the reason why you have a job is not because the product moves. Did you know if your product is moving, you don't need a salesperson? Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, uh, if you, who, who sells Kenya power to you? Huh? <laughs> uh, who sells Kenya? You see, I told you. Like, you do nothing. <laughs> Hmm? You are, imagine you take yourself to go and reveal the home video. Unalima wana wabia kuna mika. And there's nothing you can do. Because you don't need a salesperson. You need what we call in strategy undertakers. People just take orders. I am of the opinion that I've told many salespeople that when I've been training, the only reason any organization employs a salesperson is because the product on its own is not so you are employed to make the product move. Don't go saying, when you employ these people, tell them to stop saying, oh, you know, who's like product is difficult. That is why they are employed. So sales strategies play a great role in the success of any business. Because they give you the, you are able to reach out to your customers, you are able to understand their needs, and you are able to drive the revenue. Because sales is about revenue. And we all know an organization that does not realize the revenue. What do they do? They simply close down. Isn't it? Yeah. So one of the key sales strategies today that can happen, it does happen and it does work, is what I call cold calling. Cold calling. Now, cold calling is proactive prospecting, so to speak. It is proactive way of selling. Eh? You are directly reaching your customers. Yeah? You're reaching out to your potential customers. And note, you are reaching out to those customers who have no prior interest in your product. And why cold calling is a good strategy, you are able to initiate conversation with a prospect. Because you see, I have called you, I've told you this is what I do. This is the company I have. These are the books I write. I'm able to initiate that conversation. So, you know, and number two, it helps you to generate leads. The second strategy, I'm shortening them a bit, uh, but uh, stick to the point, is what we call relationship selling. Now, relationship selling is a consultative way of selling. Or I would say is a collaborative approach to selling. The other same strategy that I think is important today is solution selling. I call it solution selling. Or some people call it problem solving sales or customized solutions. Very, very important. Today, people are looking for companies that understand their pain. Actually, when you talk about solution selling, you're saying you understand my pain as a customer. And then you're giving me a solution to address my pain. Then you have what we call upselling and cross-selling strategy. Upselling and cross-selling. Upselling, upselling and cross-selling basically is where you expand the value or you add offering. Whatever you are offering, you add something to it in both ways before I tell you what it is. It is. So when you say you are upselling and cross-selling, you are basically expanding the value of your product or service or you are adding the offerings that you give. Now, upselling is where you encourage your customers to purchase a higher priced version of your product or service.